My name is Beverly Wheeler. I am the director of DC Hunger Solutions, and my role today is to assist us through what an incredible program. So I hope you will help me help you help us. So, <laughs> I want to welcome you to Progress Amongst Uncertainty, Making the Most of DC's 2018 budget. This panel, this conversation was pulled together with, from the DC Fiscal Policy Institute, Bread for the City, Children's Law Center, DC Alliance of Youth Advocates, DC Environmental Network, Fair Budget Coalition, Jews United for Justice, Legal Aid Society of the District of Columbia, Metropolitan Washington Council AFL-CIO, Miriam's Kitchen, Washington Interfaith Network. And because you are all social advocates, you know this group. You know that what they want is for us to have a really thoughtful conversation. So I hope you brought your questions, your ideas, and your thoughts with you today. We are indeed in certain uncertain times. But in the unknown, I believe that there are challenges and opportunities. And our opportunities comes because there are some things for which we are certain. We are certain that we are passionate for the people we serve. We are certain that we will fight for the rights of all residents of the District of Columbia. We are certain that we will hold all governments accountable for the rights of the residents of the District of Columbia. And we are certain that we are stronger with knowledge. So we are going to get started in that piece. Um, and, the, and with our first speaker. Oh, I forgot. For those of you who are tweeting, I would like you to tweet at hashtag ProgressDC. So I'm going to get out of the way for our keynote speaker. DC and the new federal budget context. And our speaker is Jared Bernstein. He's a senior fellow at the Center on Budget and Policy Priorities and former chief economist and economic advisor to Vice President Joseph Biden. His full biography is in the program. I'm not going to read it because I'm excited to hear what he has to tell us because we need as much knowledge as possible as we continue, and as I say, continue our fight for rights. 